tactics for creating high converting funnels. The 2020 edition. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. And today I'm gonna to show you with a live example exactly what you need to do to make sure that you have a high converting funnel. Now, obviously, first port of call, I'm gonna run through a few of the basics, why it's important to have a high converting funnel, right? A lot of people don't know that they, number one, need a funnel, number two, what a funnel is, right? But the reason why you wanna have a high converting funnel is for a couple of reasons. Number one, you wanna make sure that when you send traffic to a funnel, you're able to capture, you're able to create an audience from this page. So what we're really looking to do here is as many people as hit this page as possible, we wanna capture them. We want them to come into our world and really want to join our database, our email list, and become part of our online community. That's the goal when it comes to a high converting landing page high converting funnel. So number one is we want to make sure it's high because if you send 10 people to this page, for this page as an example, seven of those 10 will give us their information, right? Because we've been working on it over time. Most people might say that two out of 10, three out of 10, five out of 10, but we've made this really high converting, really simple. Now, the key is to also double check, number one, that you've optimized it for mobile, and number two, that you've optimized it for desktop. Most of the time when you look at a funnel, you'll see that it looks quite good, on desktop, when you look at it on mobile, it looks a little bit bad. The easiest way to do that is just literally to drag in from the side um, and you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like on mobile. You'll be able to see now how it looks, how it's lined up, um, very similar. And then we drag it out and it looks a little bit different when it comes to desktop. Now, let's look at the six key elements in here. So number one is having your opt-in above the fold. This is the very first port of call. Above the fold just means that if you're looking at this screen here, the fold is if I have to scroll down. So you can see if I have to scroll down here, a lot of people put their buttons further down the page and make it very difficult. And you wanna make sure that that is the same on mobile as it is on desktop. You wanna make it really easy for people to be able to see, they can click the button and it will pop up for them. So you can see that key one, the button is above the fold. Now, key two is knowing your offer, right? Tactic number two is knowing your offer. You wanna make it super simple and easy for people. So you can see here, we've got a free Facebook template and training. What do you think you're going to get? A free Facebook ad template and training. So our headline, which is what a lot of people spend their time thinking about, simple, effective, people understand exactly what they're going to get. So that's step number two. Step number three is you need to obviously outline what's going to be in it, just a little bit. So you can see here, we've got the 10 point ad template training, uh, it's free, people know it, right? So that's three, and then four is always include bullets. Bullets are really gonna be the parts that they're gonna get the most value out of. So you can see here, exact template used to generate seven figures in sales, uh, NOC strategy, effectively, you're gonna be able to grow your business. Pretty straightforward, exactly what you're going to get. Now, uh, this is step five, and this is a key, key or tactic five, and uh, you, can use this, you don't have to. I always like to have a pop-up. So as opposed to having it, everything on there, like into your email already, I like to have a pop-up to get that information. So that as soon as people click it, they, are, they, they this pops up, they enter their name and email, they click get your template now. But I, the reason why I like to do it like this is so that our page looks clean. Our page consistently looks nice. There's no drama on there. It's nice, clean, easy to look at. So that is, that part and then also I like to have it as an exit pop. So I closed it out before before I started this. So but if you just come to this page, see once we do it again, we'll refresh it. Right, you come up here, exit pop, get your template now. So when someone's going to exit, they're about to leave the page, this pops up to capture their details. And that's really what we wanna make sure we do so that everyone, every time we catch as many people as possible. Hence why this page converts at 70 plus percent uh, with off cold traffic that is as well. So you can see all those elements make it up. Now, how do you go about using it? We use ClickFunnels to build all of our funnels in. So ClickFunnels Australia, um, sorry, www.clickfunnelsaustralia.com. We'll put a link in the uh, comment section as well for you guys to be able to check it out. Works effectively, works easily, and you can literally build this out very simply. But you can see, all of that taking into consideration, you know, like why you need to have a high converting funnel, how to do it, 
the most important thing to remember is that you need to follow, and it's written on here as well, our NOC strategy is most important. Knowing your niche, knowing the offer and articulating it, because you can see this is just simple copy. It's not anything too sophisticated, but it hits the nail on the head with what people have as their problems. They want to use something that's a template that they can use to generate sales. They want it to be nice and easy for them. They want to be able to generate leads on demand. It's all simple. It's here. They can grow their business just by following this simple template. The offer is good. The niche is people that are running Facebook ads specifically. Um, when we have our Facebook ad as well, you will be able to see the, the niche that we're going for, service-based business owners, not e-commerce or anything like that. It's really straightforward, simple, easy to use. Now, if you do that, you can build a very highly converting funnel. And these are the six key steps. So to, to reiterate again as well, um, obviously we want a simple headline. We want everything to be above the fold. We want a little sub headline explaining what they're going to get, bullets to elicit it all. We want a pop and then we also want our exit pop as well. And overarching everything that we've shared there, we want to make sure that the NOC strategy is in place. If you have all of those six key tactics and you've used the NOC strategy as well, you're going to be in for a good time. You're going to be winning. And that's what Facebook ads is all about. That's what we're all about is helping you guys win. Now, this is just short and sharp because this is what training should be, <laughs> short, sharp, to the point. So if you love this video, please let us know. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, that's all good too. Leave us a comment and let us know what you thought. Um, and please let us know any other trainings you'd like us to, to share with you guys, any other videos and content that you want. Make sure you turn on little ping, that little notification so you see these videos first before anyone else. And as always, make sure that you subscribe so you see these as well. As until next time, I am Kim Barrett. Y'all have been super awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.